Well, guys, it's almost, it's just about done. I mean, look at that color, man. Now, that's what you want to get, that, that, that golden color. I'm going to flip them over one more time. Make sure they, they're really cooked and nice and crispy. And um, they'll be ready to serve. Guys, what is up? What is up, guys? Uh, so, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Vetmar Fishing Adventures. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm out here today. I, I just came, uh, really plan anything uh, for you guys today. I just came out here to fish whatever I can catch uh, for, for just a couple of hours. So I dropped out my son. I had no chores to do, no errands to run. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go fishing for a little bit, guys. So, um, Hopefully, hopefully you guys like the video. It's a couple of uh, nice catches I made. Uh, a couple of guys got some slot snooks. Some guy got a nice sheep hit. I got a couple of snooks. Nothing keeper, but pretty good size snooks. Uh, the fishing was pretty good today. I can't complain. Uh, it's, get, it's getting around that time where it dies. It's, it's going out. It's low tide, so it's, the bite is dying down. But uh, I had a great time. Can't complain, guys. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like I said, my 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 channel is, is really down to earth. I'm definitely not a, uh, a paid actor or a professional fisherman. I just love to fish and and I like sharing it with people, showing uh, how beautiful it's out here and how how fun it can be to come out fishing and get in this fresh air. So guys, uh, keep watching for more videos. I'll try to mix it up a little bit. Uh, maybe catch maybe some sharks one day. Uh, maybe uh, go up to Tampa for some uh, big black drum. We'll see what, what, what the future brings. I also want to see if I can make a catch and cook for you guys. I haven't made one yet, and I have a, a couple of good, good, good recipes that i never seen um, seen them done in, uh, in, on YouTube. So, guys, I uh, hope you, like this, like, uh, you guys like the video, and keep watching. Oh, look at that jump. Look at that jump. Nice jump. This is the Olympics right here, man. Snook Olympics. A hell of a catch, though. They're always fun to catch. No matter what size they are, they're always fun to catch, man. I know a lot of people would love to catch even that one, even that size right there. <laughs> All right. He got off right there. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, man. What's up, guys? What's up? I look like the moonies are in, and I had—I I just got a big old, big old, big old moonfish. <laughs> look at that puppy there. Now that's a big moonfish. That's a big, big moonfish. Take a picture of it real quick. Take a picture real quick, bud. Moonfish. Here you go. Don't let your line go. That's a nice one. It's a big one, right? Yeah. You know those are really good to eat. Oh yeah, I, I eat them all the time, bro. Yeah. I eat them all the time, but if I can just get them. Yeah, I was surprised. Thank you, bud. First one I ever filleted. I, I wouldn't believe the meat came off. Yeah, yeah, the big ones, the big ones like that. Yeah. Boy, you tell. Oh yeah, the big ones are good, man. Guys, fish on, guys, fish on. Fish on, guys. I don't know how big it is, but I gotta follow him around. Yes, sir. Let's not lose this fish. Let's keep working it, working him, because he feels pretty heavy. I'm not sure, man. He might, he might not, he might just be under. But let's see what. It's, yeah, it's hard to tell, man. He ain't come up yet. And it's very light tackle, so I have to kind of be easy with him. Now he's just a little under. Just a little under. That's all right. Oh, that's a nice one, though. It's a baby. Yeah. Good kid. Buddy. Yeah, man. There you go. Let me get him out. Get the leader. I got the leader. Awesome little catch. We take a picture of that? Nah, it's a little dinker. I'll just let him go so he can kind of grow healthy. <laughs> he freed my whole line, so I'm gonna have to change my line. See if I catch, if I, if I can hook up on a really big one. This line ain't gonna make it. See you guys? Yeah, we don't want that. So I'll be back, guys. Hang tight. Okay, guys. 
fish on again guys it might be a smaller snook we'll see what it is i don't know it's fighting kind of strange not like a snook it's fighting like a oh big mohara <laughs> a ginormous mohara holy crap the biggest mohara i ever caught <laughs> holy smokes no yeah it's good eating too yeah but i'm not gonna use this big old thing for a bait man smaller one maybe but it's too it's too damn big look how big this guy is let me measure this big old mohara that's gotta be my record mohara <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious guys he ate a giant shrimp this thing is guys this thing is uh, 13 and a half inch mohara <laughs> bigger than a snapper <laughs> bigger than a mangrove snapper i gotta take this guy home and make the catch and cook today guys Definitely hilarious, man. And a lot of these, uh, some of these fishermen are telling me uh, it's a good snook bait. I go, yeah, but it's kind of, it's too big. I, I don't want to. It's my uh, personal best mohara, so. I got to take this guy home. Oh, amazing. That's just ginormous mohara, guys. Oh, that's funny, man. I swear they fought like a small snook. Hilarious. Small snook. Another fish on, guys. Third fish of the day, guys. It feels, feels a little bigger. Feels a little bigger, guys. I'm gonna walk him because my I got eight pound test. He's walking me, guys. He's walking me. He's walking me. It is a rock. He got me on the rock. He's got me on the rock. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh guys, he might, he might be a keeper. He just might be a keeper. He just might be a keeper, guys. He's not letting me bring him in. I gotta be really careful because I have an eight pound test line. Here you go, here you go. Yeah, yeah he might be small, huh? Small. Yeah, 26, 27. Yeah. Fat, fat though, huh? Maybe 25. Nice, clean fish. Nice, clean fish. Nice big mouth. Look at it. Yeah. Healthy, healthy fish. Fat is heavy, too. It's heavy. Yeah, well, you catch another one bigger. You're right on, right on. Let's measure this guy. This is the third fish of the day, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. So soon you're getting out of your mouth. 25. And how, what do they have to be? 28, 28. Head first, nice dive, nice swim. Heck of a fight though, it was fatty. Right. Nice catch, nice catch, nice catch guys. Nice catch. Let's go up to the other one. Let me take my line. See if it's not too frayed up. For this I gotta change it. Nope. It's clean, he actually got hooked by the mouth so. I just keep casting with the same floor, with the same uh, leader. I'm using live stream today, guys. I tried uh, earlier this morning. I tried uh, artificial, and they weren't touching it. So I, I brought some shrimp just in case, and that's what's working right now. So let's go get another one, guys. That was my third fish of the day, second snook, and a big giant mohara. Awesome. What do you got there, Miguel? Oh, look at this guy. I got a measuring tape over there. Good catch, Miguel. Did it, right they, they did it really? <laughs> there you go. That's where they're at. That's where they're at by the rocks. But uh, they're hitting right there on uh, on the edge. That's where I've been catching most of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go measure it, buddy. It looks like it's 27. It might be 28, man. You might have that legal one, man. Let's check it out, man. All right, guys, it's a nice catch. I mean, go caught here. One of the subscribers happens to uh, be here with me. Let's close the mouth. 
close the mouth. I mean, open, open the mouth. Open the mouth. Hold the mouth. Open. It missing a quarter, a half inch. Nice catch, though, man. Twenty-seven and a half. What a nice fatty, fatty, fatty. Guys, fish number four. What is it? What is this? Oh, it's a mon snapper. Mon snapper, guys. <laughs> All different type of catches. <laughs> The mon snapper, yeah. Undersized but beautiful. Nice catch. Fourth, fifth, that's the fifth fish of the day. It's just a beauty, man. What a beautiful fish. But they gotta be 18 inches, man. So this baby's going back. Oh, what a nice catch. Ah, right, today we're catching all kinds of fish, man. All variety of fish. Moonfish, mon snappers, snooks. Let's see what else uh, we catch, guys. What you got? What, what you got on there, man? What you got on there, man? I've got uh, shrimp. Oh, look, he's got a, he's got a sea trout. That's a snook. Ah, it looks like a sea trout to me. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's actually a flounder. A nice flounder, brother. <laughs> he's got a line on him, too. You know what? That might be a legal one, man. Do not lose him. That might be illegal, guys. It looks kind of legal to me. He's he shorty. He shorty. Man, let's go get the measuring table. That's a nice specimen though, man. Nice, fatty, healthy specimen. You wanna measure him? 20, what, 27, 26 maybe? 27 maybe. 27. <laughs> they all seem to be like that. Uh, you wanna measure him? Yeah. Here you go, right here. Sorry, here you go right there, buddy. Let's see, let's see. It's nice and healthy and thick though. 27, yeah. 27, 27. Yeah, 27, 27, 27, 27, 27. Take a picture of me. Sure, man, for sure. Yeah. Nice catch, man. Beautiful catch. <laughs> All right, guys. It might be a small one. Yeah, it's probably a small one. But it's still a snook, I think. And it's still a good fight. Sticking to the bottom. Stick it, there's a rock there. There's a rock there, get that out of the rock. Get him out. You gotta get him out. He's trying to go under rocks. He's trying to be slick. And he can't go under rocks. Oh gosh. There he is. Yeah, small one. Oh, okay. Can you get him? I get him, yeah, I get him. Thank you. Small little snook. Yeah. Ah, get the leader. Ah. Here you go. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to mention this one, guys. It's a forced fish, though. So the fishing hasn't been too bad. But it's a beauty. Big old mouth. Yes, sir. Nice one. All right. Later, buddy. There you go. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. You let the pole come. Yeah, that's right. He shows you how it's done all the time. Oh, man. He's, he's more. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfect, man. He's 30, 30 inch. Yeah. He's 30 inch, brother. Perfect. Oh, nice awesome catch. Awesome catch. Hey. <laughs> Guys, what's up? I'm back home. And uh, I've been saying on my videos that I'm gonna make a catch and cook. And uh, I feel like today's a day. Um, I went out fishing this morning and you see in the video. And uh, I caught a couple of snook, but I caught a big old mohara, man. And, I, and you know, my son likes them, I like them. The big ones, they taste really good. They, they're kind of like snapper to me, uh -huh. they taste so good. And I caught a big moonfish, so I figured, you know what? I'm gonna make these two. Not concentrated on the type of fish but i want to show you guys how uh the type of recipe i make to make this type of fish uh breading and this breading is, is, is the way the one the one i use is is a cornmeal it's a cornmeal uh called arepa pan it's uh, a specialty for venezuelans they make they make arepas with it and my wife's being venezuelan uh one day i just uh, put that uh that uh cornmeal with egg batter and, and flour and it just it's seasoning and it just came out so darn delicious and I've been making it ever since then. And my son, being a picky eater, 
uh, he actually enjoyed it. He liked it <laughs> a lot. And every time I come home and I get fresh fish, I make it for him. And sure enough, he, he really enjoys it. And uh, so, anyways, guys, I don't want to talk you up, like I said, but I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to show you the plate uh, when it's done. Uh, normally, I make uh, rice and a, and, a, and a salad. So I'll see if I can. I'll be doing all that. So, guys, I'll be back with the ingredients. I'll show you all the ingredients, and I'll start making the, the food. And then you guys can see uh, the finished product. And um, I'm going to taste it, but I wish you guys could taste it. But maybe you can follow the steps and you can make it yourself. You probably really enjoy it. All right, guys, here we go. So guys, these are these are the ingredients I'm going to be using today. Um, obviously, you have the fish, uh, big mahar I caught today. It was it's really big actually, <laughs> big, one of the biggest ones I ever caught. And the moonfish, both of them are really good, uh, good fish to eat. Their meat is just white, it's flaky, it's just delicious. I really I really enjoy it. And sort of my son, my son is a peak eater, man, and uh, he actually likes this fish a lot. And uh, so. I'm gonna be using flour, all-purpose flour, about two cups. I'm gonna be using this, uh, arepa pan, which is the uh, Venezuelan, use it a lot, my wife's Venezuelan. And one time I was making uh, um, fillets and I was gonna bread them and you know, make, make it for them. And, and I just decided to use it. I couldn't find any breading, any panko or anything like that. So I, I just did use, these, use this thing. And uh, next thing you know, it was delicious. And my wife enjoyed it, he loved it, my son loved it. And ever since then, I, this is like a couple years ago. And ever since then, I've been making it with this. And I add uh, batter with, I make two eggs in batter. I add this, this seasoning to the, to the batter, which is uh, Spanish uh, adobo, which is awesome. Uh, it's almost empty, but it'd be enough for this meal. But this is great stuff, man. I use it for everything, for meat, fish, shrimp. Uh, it's just really good. I, I really recommend the seasoning, guys. It's a Spanish uh, seasoning. And the butter, which I'm gonna be frying it in. All right, guys, so simple as that. Two cups of flour. Two cups of uh, arepa pan, uh, which is cornmeal, two eggs, the seasoning, the butter, and the fillets. And that's all to it. Now I'm gonna fillet the f f uh, fish in a little bit, and then I'm gonna get the cooking, and I'll show you guys how it's done, and how good it tastes. I also, I, make ri I also make rice and make salad, but today I'm just gonna do the fish today, because uh, my wife's not here, she usually helps me, and I have my three-year-old here, so. But at least, you, at least, I mean, you can easily make a salad, you can easily make white rice, but this, you're gonna learn a new thing and it's really, really, you're gonna really enjoy it. Hope you guys like this recipe. There we go. All right, guys, very simple steps. Break the egg. Throw it in there. Break the other egg. Throw it in there. Then we can add the, I always like to add the seasoning, seasoning to the, to the bat, to the, to the egg batter. So, it's about that much, it's about, a, about a, 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 a three quarters of a teaspoon or a teaspoon. I think a teaspoon will be fine. And then you just mix it. Just like that. You, got, you wanna get a good, a good consistency. You wanna get it all nice and, and uh, an orange reddish color. And then you know all the seasoning is, seasoning is nice and mixed into the batter and that'll make it nice all right that looks about good i think that's good i think you can add as much as you want seasoning or as little as you want you can actually add your type of seasoning or salt or just salt and pepper and you i mean you know when it comes to cooking this man you, you can make it however you really would, would like to make it. this is the way i make it this is the way i enjoy it and it actually tastes really really good uh, my family has said so, and my friends have said so, my son and my wife, they all love it, I love it. So it must be good, right? <laughs> all right. Now I'm gonna get a plate. We got two small plates here. So we'll use these two plates, and we'll, all, I'll, all, I'll do, all I'll do is just add uh, my uh, cornmeal on that one. Then I will add my uh, flour, all-purpose flour on this one. One thing I like to do, always like to do, is add a little bit of seasoning to the to the cornmeal too. So you can, and I always use my fingers. I just wash my hands. I, I like to use my fingers. It's, it's uh, you want to use gloves, that's fine. If you want to use a spoon, you can, but I'm not a chef. I just like to, you know. So I, by that much, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And because the, this is going to be on the on the fish, it's, fish itself and, and 
it might take away some of the, the the seasoning so this will help it so when you take that bite you can have seasoning on on the on the on the breading and on the cornmeal and also on the fish so then i just mix it up a little bit so like that probably put a little bit more there you go and i think that that'd be good let's mix it up a little bit and that's it guys so this is the process i would just uh Get my fish, get my filet, get a little piece, and dip this in the in the, in the in the flour, then dip it in the batter, then dip it in the in the cornmeal, and put it to the fryer. So let me get the fryer ready so we can get the cooking, guys. All right, guys. So here we go. We got a little bit of butter. We got, we will add the the butter first. Mm. Let that simmer down. I always like to use uh, bamboo uh, spatulas because, uh, or bamboo spoons, because they don't scratch your your, your pots. So I recommend you guys use uh, bamboo uh, spoons or spatulas. They really do come in handy and they uh, preserve your, your pots longer, your pans and stuff. All right, guys, guys, I think the butter is uh, ready to go. You don't want to put the, uh, the heat on too high because uh, the butter, the butter turn t uh, tends to burn quickly. And also the cornmeal, it, it'll, it'll burn on you if you put your, your, uh, your heat too high. So I normally put it in five and a half once in for like a couple of minutes. Where it's now uh, sizzling, then I go ahead and get my first uh, my first fillet. Put it in the flour like so. Then I put it in my batter. Make sure I get all of it. And like I said, I like to use my hands, man. I, I just the way I like to do it. And you can use gloves or, foot, but you know, I like to use my hands. So then you put it in the on, on the cornmeal. Just like that. And then you put it in the pan. And that's how simple it is, guys. And you just keep doing that process with every, with every filet. Just put it in the flour. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, this is just, I mean, you know, just try to get as much as you can on it. You know, put it on the, cornmeal my wife always tells me that i that i'm a great cook but that i tend to be kind of messy but i tell her that if it's not messy then the food's probably not going to be that good you know and then we go we'll put one more in there just like that there we go go ahead and put it in the egg batter And then put it in the cornmeal, which is the arepa, arepa pan. Arepa pan. Great stuff, man. So this is kind of my uh, my creation. I call it uh, Spanish filet, Spanish uh, Venezuelan type uh, filet, breaded um, with cornmeal and flour and, and egg batter. Very simple, but it tastes very, really, really good, guys. I promise you, and I guarantee you won't be disappointed when you make this... Uh, recipe and the best way to make it is when you, when you have fresh fish i catch my own fish i caught it this morning as you, as you saw in the video and here i am making it now and me and my son are, and my wife are going to enjoy it in a little bit um guys i owe you i owe you the the, the salad and the rice uh next time uh, maybe i have more time my wife's here to help me with my son or if she can help me uh make the salad and the rice and then i'll have a whole plate for you the way we eat it the way i enjoy it put some salsa some avocado uh, salad, rice, I mean, you name it. It's so it's such a great meal. But today, right now, as I'm showing you guys, is just the fish. All right, guys. Well, they're done. Look at that color. Look at that crispy uh, golden color. Uh, they are, they, they look as good as they taste. <laughs> Trust me. I have my, the best food critic here, which is my son. <laughs> if he likes it, that means it came out really, really good, guys. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, guys. Let me serve it and then show you guys the final product. And, uh,
guys, thank you for watching, guys. This is my first uh, catch and cook. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so don't be too harsh on me. I, I'm not an expert. <laughs> this is my first one, my first time. I will be making it more. I will be making some, some simple ceviche, some uh, uh, baked fish, uh, different ways. Uh, maybe when I, I'll go crabbing one day and make some crabs. All that good stuff, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. It's so good. Let me give it a try. You can't stop eating it. That's how good it is. <laughs> guys, it's really good. Thanks for watching, guys. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Bye. Me, I'll see you soon. <laughs>